Good morning. I'm going to show a quick video a demonstration about how to use Mental Measurement Yearbook. Mental Measurement Yearbook started out as an annual uh, index that came out with different instruments that were found in books or journal articles. And now, luckily for you, this is an online database. We do have some of the earlier volumes in the library, but all of the volumes we have are actually already incorporated into the online database, so you can use the online database. So to get to this, very simply, I'm not going to go to the database, which I normally do from the library's homepage. That would be just scrolling down and taking you down to these little boxes and going to databases. And then I could actually find mental measurement year, yearbook that way through the general list or just go to the psychology databases and get it that way. For this, uh, this instance, I'm going to go to the LibGuides. And I want to show you two places you can get to it. You can actually go in through psychology. And then go down to the test and measures, psychological test and measures libguide. And here you will see database with test information. And you can also see links to uh, mental measurement yearbook right here, which is where I'm going. Or you could go to psych info, psych test, which I showed in an earlier uh, video that we've made. Also, here's a link to the state, San Diego State University Test Finder and other databases that you might want to try. So the other way to get to it, let me click back on LibGuides and go to the Nursing LibGuides. And then click on Kinesiology 4370. And then there's a link here for databases kinesiology. And then there's some videos that I've made earlier here about different databases, but this, these are not all of the new homepage. They're still going to be useful for you, um, but they don't start on the library's homepage. They start on the old homepage, um, which still can help you out because the terminology on the right side of the new homepage matches the um, old homepage. Anyway, but here's a link uh, right here to measure, Mental Measurement Yearbook. And it says any instruments listed in the MMYB cost money. So these are professionally used uh, instruments. Um, they've been vetted. They, are, they have all the psychometric properties. Um, so you know these are valid and good uh, instruments to use, but they are going to cost you money to use. And so this Mental Measurement Yearbook, will tell you everything that they have found out about these individual tests. You will not see articles here. You will see reviews of the different instruments that are listed in these um, books, the physical books, which are older, or the actual um, online database, which we are going to use here. You know that it says, notice it says mental measurement yearbooks with test in print. So we are going to go ahead and and it, uh, click on this. If you're off campus, you'll be asked to log in with the Husky Dog blinking at you and just log in with the same information you use for the my.hbu.edu um, login and password. This is the advanced search. You notice that there's different fields that you can actually ask the database to search. You can search um, the text of, of the two or one uh, reviews that are in there on each instrument. You can search by test name, author's name, the subject uh, test category, and a session number, the acronym for the test, the population that you're actually asking to um, survey, publisher information, the purpose of the test, uh, restricted distribution, reviewers, names of reviewers. This is a really good one, the um, SC scores. So like if you're saying, does it score my diet? Does it score depression? Does it score my um, anxiety? That kind of thing. Um, I'm not real sure what Special Editions is. NT is the status, probably active. And then the yearbook is the old-timey books in print for the, uh, I'm sorry, Mental Measurement Yearbook books that were published. And then the year publication.
So for this search right now, I'm just going to leave my search at select a field. Remember, this is not going to pull up articles. It's going to pull up reviews from Mental Measurement Yearbook. So for my first uh, demonstration, I'm going to just pull up one of the names of the test that I found in here. Sport, personality, questionnaire, and there it is. I'm going to run my search, and there it is. Now remember, with this is very important, with the mental measurement yearbook, you're actually going to get two strong places you need to go look. One of them will be the HTML, and sometimes it's PDF, I believe. Maybe it's all HTML, I can't remember. Um, where you're going to find the two reviews that you need to read through very carefully. And especially if you're one of the classes where you have to fill out a chart and uh, maybe give a demonstration or PowerPoint on a certain questionnaire, you need to read through these reviews with a fine-tooth comb to find the information that you need. But one thing students always, well, I don't say always forget, but quite often do forget, to look at is the record for each test. So I'm going to go ahead and start out by not opening the, the HTML of the reviews, but I'm going to open the record for the sports personality questionnaire. This is the record that has been created by people that uh, input the data into this database. They have all these fields that I just showed you on the drop down menu, and when you pick what fields you want the database to search, you're telling it to search in these different fields. Here's one of them, purpose, um, test category, scores. So like for example if I had put in the word aggressiveness and asked it to search in the scores, this record would have been one of the records that was pulled up because it does score in this test for aggressiveness. Okay, So this is these are powerful records that you can look through and get more information about this test besides just looking at the reviews. You can see here there's a, a website from the publisher. That's good information. In case for some reason the um, information is older on here and you want to see if the cost of this test has changed, you could go to that website and see if they give you a different price for this test. This The price data is from 2011. We're in 2016 at this point, so that's already old information, so you might want to go to myskillsprofile.com, look up the name of the test and see what they're charging for that test today. When you look at the scores, it says there's 20, looks like 27 um, items that are scored. 20 of them score, and it lists all the different things it scores, and then seven of them score, are summary scores, and now it lists other things that it scores. Okay, So when you're filling out the, the uh, chart that you have to fill out for psychology, and you have to state the purpose or the price, um, and different um, information like that, you might find a lot of information from this record. Okay, so that's the record for this um, for this actual test. And when you scroll down, you go ahead and it's going to go ahead and give you um, the HTML right here. Let me go ahead and um, go back to the HTML on this side. You still get it down below, but I want to go ahead and go into this. And here you see a choice to actually listen to this, these reviews being read to you. Let's say you're in the house and you're cooking or you're exercising. You could actually listen to this or download it to your MP3 player and listen to it. And you can choose what accents you want. So if I just turn that on, let's see what happens. Try that again. It may be that the uh, computer is too slow to to do this. Okay, but I just want to let you know that that is something you could possibly try. I have downloaded articles before HTML version and listened to them in my car. Okay, so let me scroll down here, and you can see. This first it says review of the sports personality questionnaire. You should name the author and a little bit of his background. And it's giving you the description right here. And then it goes on development. And you can read technical and look for different um, areas of this review. 
Sometimes what I'll do is just do control F and type in the word strengths and see if it's in there or weaknesses or that kind of thing to find out um, information about this test. But like I said, you need to read this with a fine tooth comb. What I would do is download it as a PDF and then use the tools to um, highlight maybe the weaknesses in blue and the strengths in yellow or something like that to help you when you're um, making your review that you have to turn in for your classes. And I've read all of this, and you go on down further. Here's another review by a different person for this very same test. You want to look for the psychometric properties in here, um, you know, validity, reliability, that kind of stuff in here, and any weaknesses, threats, any um, benefits or risk or um, disadvantages to using this test. Will it work for all races? Um, is there vocabulary? Um, consistent what people are using today, those kind of questions you need to ask yourself. Okay, so this is just telling you a little bit about the test, and if you're a student at HBU and you don't want to have to pay for this, then you probably want to find a different questionnaire to use. You don't want to have to pay for these tests because they get very expensive, and the manuals are very expensive. So if you're reading an article and you're trying to find a test, and you go, first I would suggest you go to Mental Measurement Yearbook. If the test is listed in Mental Measurements Yearbook, it's probably going to cost you money to find the full text of that test and how to score it. So that's the main thing you need to know about Mental Measurement Yearbook. If the test is in here, more than likely you're going to have to pay, pay major bucks to see the full text or to actually get your hands on it. You also will have to um, probably buy the manual to be able to describe um, how to score it or learn how to score it. Um, for whatever use or purpose you have to use it. If you're just in a class where you just need to review different instruments and tests, that's fine. You can use this and get the information you need pretty quickly. Okay, and that was using Mental Measurement Yearbook, which is an EBSCO database. I'm going to go back to my result list. And now I'm going to run another search real quickly to show you how can you, you can use this to search by just keywords and the different fields. So let's say I'm in teaching and I want to look up the word students. I could put teachers if I wanted. And let's say I'm interested in student anxiety, maybe test anxiety. And then I'm going to say, okay, leave the word students and I want it to search any field that's listed here except for the full text because it won't search the full text unless you ask it. And by full text I mean the, all the words in the review. But I'm going to leave it at select a field so it searches all these different fields that are listed in the record that we saw earlier. But anxiety, I want whatever questionnaire survey uh, that I pull up to actually score anxiety. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to say scores here. So now I'm running a search for anything with the word students in it, but I want it to score anxiety. So let's see what happens. Now I have 14 different instruments that popped up. I can go look at these and see if there's any of these that I want to use or write about for my class. But like I said, if they're in here, they're probably going to cost you money. So if you're actually passing out 25 questionnaires or something like that, or want to actually see the full every question on there on the uh, survey instrument, you probably won't want to use one in here because it will cost you money to find it. Sometimes you will find it rarely um, in an article, but more than likely you're not. And then to find out how to score it will be probably in a manual that will be very costly. Okay, so that's just showing you how to use Mental Measurement Yearbook. And for the kinesiology classes you could put the word athlete, um, truncated, or sport. And let's just do the same thing again, anxiety. And I'm going to say scoring it. Let's see if we get anything with this. Search really quickly. Searching. And I've got one, the sports emotions test. Okay. All right, that's how to use mental measurement yearbook.